Well, good morning. This morning you join me on the banks of my local syndicate lake. And although I'm an all-round angler, this time of year, during the springtime, I like to target some carp. And in this AD Quick Bite, I'm going to share with you some of my top tips that I feel put a few more carp on the bank. Well, probably the most important part of fishing in general, and especially so in the spring, is location. It's been a cold, long winter, and the first thing those carp are going to be looking for is some sunshine. So as soon as you get some spring sunshine, the carp will definitely be making the most of it. The shallow water will warm up the quickest. If there's any shallow bays on your lake, that can be a magnet for the carp. So don't be scared to fish in the shallow water, especially in the warmer weather. The wind can play a huge part into carp location in the spring as well. They absolutely love to follow those westerlies and those southwesterly winds. Not so much the cold northerlies just yet, but one heads up for me is to look at the forecast prior to your fishing session and it can give you a good clue of whereabouts you need to be on the day. Well, once you've located some carp, the next thing is how do you get a bite? And what plays a big part in my carp fishing in the spring are the bright, high tracked hook baits. I find they really grab the carp's attention the water is quite often still quite clear and having something bright and over flavoured can get you a quick bite. Early in the spring fishing them as singles can be great. If you see any signs of fish showing, casting a single hook bait to it can get a quick bite. As the weather improves and the fish become more active, you can up the amount of bait that you feed. To be honest, by the time I get to the end of the spring, I'm feeding quite heavy. But the general rule of thumb is one bite at a time and reading how active the fish are to how much you need to feed. Another great method during the springtime has to be zig fishing. As I mentioned earlier, the carp are attracted to that warmer water in the sunshine, but that doesn't always mean the shallow water. Quite often they'll just sit in the surface layers of the deeper water, and that's where you need to position your zigs. By putting your baits up in that top third of the water column, you can definitely get a few bites. And although I know lots of people out there catch numbers of carp on little pieces of foam, for me, little 10 mil pop-ups, especially little bright yellow or bright pink ones, are a definite winner. And then when the weather warms up even more, probably my favourite way to catch carp is surface fishing. I wouldn't be without my floater fishing gear on those warmer spring days. And the last point I want to mention is the importance of being mobile. The carp will definitely be on the move, especially reacting to all the different weather conditions that you get during the spring, and you need to make sure that you're on the fish. So if you bring an absolute mountain of fishing gear with you and just sit in one swim hoping that they turn up, your fishing session can quite quickly turn into a camping session. So like today, I've got minimal kit, and if I see any signs of carp moving around the lake, I'll definitely react and get straight onto them. Well, that sun has got high in the sky this afternoon, and this shallow water behind the island has warmed up nicely. And I've now, I've got one sitting in the net that I've just landed, and the rod's rattled off again. So all about location, keep your eyes peeled, watch the weather and hopefully you'll land one or two yourself. I'm going to concentrate now because it's quite weedy down here and it looks like quite a nice carp this one. Well there you go there's all the proof that you need. Applying those tactics that we talked about in this quick bite has definitely caught me this fish. Not only has it caught me this fish in a short 10 minute spell both the rods have ripped off and the smaller one was a tiny little mirror carp that I've slipped back straight out of the landing net because this is the one that I wanted to look at. So I hope that this video has inspired you to get out this spring and do some carp fishing, and hopefully those tips will help you put a few more fish on the bank.